Hey there, and welcome to a new Blender tutorial series to show you how to import a character model into Shoot Media. Before we start, right here is the model I will be importing, which is Salvador from Borderlands 2. Um, it's not fully completed at this point, but stuff like uh, icon and uh, lower level detail are missing, but we will cover all that in this tutorial and a full model will be posted online. If you want to use it, then uh, you can either click the annotation on the screen right now or click the link in the description to download the model from Mania Park, where you can also download all the source files. Or if you want, you can use the option to get the model from Steam Workshop. There'll be annotation on the screen right now for that, as well as you can use the second link in the description to go there if you would like. So now I'm going to switch over to Blender and we can get started importing this character. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Blender 2.72. If you want to download it, I'll have a link in the description for that. Or um, you can use a different version. You can use an earlier or a later version. It shouldn't really matter that much. There might be a few options that are in a different place or it might just look a little different, but overall it will be very, very similar. So, um, first off, I'm going to delete all we have in the scene here, and I am going to import my model. So, import, in my case, my model is a wavefront.obj file, but you might have a Collada or 3DS or something like that. I, in my case, I'm going to use obj, so go find that and import that. So, this model is sideways of course so I'm going to rotate that up negative 90 degrees and scale it down a reasonable bound we are going to set that in a moment properly but okay so I'm going to set this to smooth and so we got a couple parts here we got a left eye, or a right eye a mouth left eye uh, body head and arms so I'm going to join these three parts together and name it eyes mouth it doesn't really matter that much because they will all be end up going together in the end um, arms head and body so we need to compare this model to an actual model there are a few options you got here there is either the scintil sample which is the third link in the description or the Storman sample, which is the fourth link in the description. Both of these are Blender files, so all you gotta do is go File, Import, or not Import, Append, and go into, gotta find, I'm gonna use the Storman for mine, so find the model file, go to the Object folder, and in the case of the Sintel sample, it'll be called Sintel underscore lot zero, I believe, or in this case, it's Storman lot zero that you want, and click Append from Library. You'll see here we have a storm man as well as an armature, which the armature we don't need right now, but we will need later. So I'm just going to hide that. And so obviously this character is a lot bigger. So I'm going to select all four parts. And right now if I scale, it will scale properly. Make sure that um, it will scale like that. If it doesn't, then just set it to 3D cursor at the center because that's where we want it to scale to. Scale it down something like that. I'm going to go press 1 to go to front view and 5 to go to orthographic. And you'll see in this case the model is not actually centered. So I'm going to press Z and I'm going to move the model over so that it actually is right on the center line. Something like that. And now since the model has been scaled and um, moved around, I'm going to press Control A to apply location and also apply rotation and scale. So next up, what I want to do is in this case, I want the Salvador model from Borderlands 2 to look a little bit like it is part of Shoot Mania. So I'm going to take the uh, gun from the shoot from the store man here. To do that, I'm going to Actually, first, I'm going to hide these parts so that it's easier to see. And I'm going to press Z and C to select parts that are likely part of it, something like that. And press Control L to select um, connected parts. 
And I'm going to use a few more here. These, like that. I'm going to press dot on the number pad to center to view so I can easily see what I want on the other side. And I grab those. So those are the parts I want. In this case, I don't actually need the rest of the Storeman model for anything. So I'm going to press Control i to invert the selection. And then press Delete to delete all the vertices. Okay, so now we just got this one arm cannon. And I'm going to move, put these back in place. Now, obviously, this is not the right size or in the right place. So what I want to do is go back in edit mode, select all the vertices. And I'm going to change this back to the median point so I can rotate it properly. And then move it approximately into place. Scale it up. Something like that. Control 3 to go to the right side view. The gun will have to be in the right arm. On the right arm or in the right hand. Because you can use um, like a gun in a character's hand if you want something different. You don't have to do this at all, actually, but I find it looks nice just because the bullets will be coming out of something instead of just like the hand or above or something like that. So, um, in the case I, in other cases, like um, I made a Boba Fett model. In that case, I just used um, a gun that was from Boba Fett that work pretty much perfectly. So this doesn't fit perfectly, so I'm going to go now go into use proportional editing, which means that now when I select a vertice and grab it, if I scroll back a little bit, you'll see this circle appear, and that is how much area is being affected. So now I can kind of pull vertices around so that it fits around the arm properly. So something like that. And actually that one can go. I'm not going to do a perfect job here. You can spend lots of time doing this, but I want to try and make this tutorial fairly quick. So it won't be the greatest. The actual model that I'll put out will be better since I will put a, well, we'll have put a lot more time into it. So I just want to pull all these vertices approximately into place so that nothing is being overlapped by the arm. And like that, there. So that's not too bad. Now, this model will, when it's imported, it's going to have multiple vertices to make it easier to edit. If you see, if I select here and press Control L to select, only a portion of them are selected, though these vertices are pretty much the exact same. So what I'm going to do is select all the vertices and re click Remove Doubles. Now, all the vertices that are doubled up are now all gone and it's a single vertice and I can grab it around. I want to actually take off proportional editing and you can see parts like that. There are a few parts that aren't actually connected at all, which is perfectly fine. And we'll do the same thing with the arms, remove the vertices and the head and the eyes and mouth. Okay, now that we've finished that portion, I'm going to go ahead and save the model. Um, Right there, I'm going to overrate a model that I previously worked on, that's perfectly fine. Now that's all for this video. In the next video I will cover setting up the textures for the model, as well as applying material to the model. If this video is helpful, go ahead and leave a like, and um, if you want more videos, then go ahead and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.